Okay, the story of the Franklin. It's a 1927 model, and uh, I found it in a garage in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, around about 1997. It had been there for 34 years. The garage had fallen down on top of it, and the car was a complete wreck. Uh, most of the wood had rotted, so I uh, then uh, worked worked on it for a week, and Diane and I drove it to uh, Hollywood and uh, we, we managed to get there, we had a few breakdowns on the way but we managed to get there. Then we put it in a, a container in Long Beach and I brought it to Australia and I restored it completely. Now I was thinking of selling it one night we're out with Jeff and uh, And Andy by Lodi. the way he was plying me with not only one red wine, not only one bottle, but about one and a half bottles and then suggested that if he could have got a certain price for it he would sell it and I said well What's that price? And he told me, and I said, well, what about if we go halves? And I didn't even have it half out of my mouth when my hand was taken off the table and shook on it. And he said, that's a handshake deal. You're done, mate. Yeah, you've got to work fast at this. Yeah. I was at his place the next morning for $25,000 check, <laughs> and, uh, and he was gulping. But we have had the most fantastic time with that car. We've driven it completely around Australia. We raised uh, $27,000 for CareFlight. And, and actually, we did 27,000 kilometres. We went up to Arnhem Land. What a ball we've had with that car. We've done many, many trips now, and it's been just absolutely fantastic. He has a nervous, nervous moment every now and again when you get a hiccup or you break an axle in the... Where was it? Well, like? well because the agreement was that he owned the front half <laughs> and I'd own the back half, and I thought, oh, well, that'll be less expensive. <laughs> but no, we're on the Leichhardt River, and we go down a pothole, I'm thinking I wasn't driving, and bang, the back axle broke. We had to get one made. So there Crocodiles <laughs> on both sides of the river, <laughs> weren't they? They were. Yeah. yeah, crocodiles. So we dragged it to a uh, property. What was the property called? The Florafield Downs. When, you, when we got down to Tasmania, bang, yeah. the front cylinder exploded. I was now, driving. Yeah, he was driving. It's, it's his bloody fault and it was in my area. Yeah. And I had to, oh, we had to get, get one from America. We had to have it sent up to Minnesota and get it sleeved and sent back. And one of the Americans even flew across and with the cylinder, met us in Melbourne, and we completed the uh, Around Australia trip. And it was too late to put it in his check-in luggage, and he had to have it in hand luggage, and it weighed about 10 kilos. And they wanted that when it went through the security, they <laughs> when I wasn't so strict then, but they wanted to know exactly what it was. But uh, we love it, and uh, it's air cooled, by the way, air cooled, and it's got a motor that powered a Waco trainer plane in 1928. And in, and in 40 degree heat yeah, in Western right. Australia, no air conditioning, but the front windscreen comes out, and no trouble with boiling because no water. Yeah. And the only cars that were in uh, uh, Death Valley that were successful at the Death Valley Ranch were Franklins because they were the only ones that wouldn't boil and they could run them at very, very high temperatures. So that's our Franklin for you. She's a bloody ripper, mate.